Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here again, and here I'm going into the Abyss. Um, this fight is against Dormammu, and um, before I go into it, I go and I take off Dex, just because um, I don't want to uh, have the chance of um, triggering the crit buff and getting it nullified or expired and then getting the degen. The degen isn't all that um, strong, but you know, why take the extra damage when you can bypass it? So, and just to take off uh, Dex and um, put back on the other masteries that I have on the proficiency tree, um, it's pretty cheap. Um, so do that mastery switch and go in and of course, we're gonna use Human Torch. So, um, gonna heal him back up a little bit. Um, used him prior on uh, the first fight, which was Human Torch, or sorry, Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk first Human Torch. And um, also um, used him to take down Old Man Logan. So, this is his third fight. And heal him up, and I activate um, the pre fight. And this is a fight that is definitely um, solo -able. Um I did fail to do that, unfortunately, um, but was able to do it um, on the second shot. So, two shot of it um, based on this first attempt. Things were going pretty well, and then he was getting stingy with throwing a special, and I got cornered. And yeah, just trying to remember that I couldn't dex everything. Yeah, that kind of threw me for a curveball, and, and I died. But um, yeah, so my strategy here is very similar to how I was playing Old Man Logan. And mainly, you know, with, with Dormammu being a mystic, you're gonna be able to keep your temperature up. Every time you block or parry, um, it's gonna help um, bring the temperature up. Additionally, every time you are, uh, you contact Dormammu, um, when he's attacking you, um, you will also increase your, um, oh, what is it called? Smolder, yeah, your smolder. So, um, and the more smolder you have, the, the more damage the incinerates do. So, um, basically, doing a parry, which will build a smolder, build a smolder, and then a medium light, medium, which will put on three um, incinerates. And in this case, because I did the pre-fight, it's the Nova Flames, which basically um, produce the same result without the pre-fight, except you get the power stings and their passes, which in this case doesn't really um, do much. There's no difference. So anyways, um, parry, medium, light, medium, bait out as L1, um, block parts of the L1 to get um, additional smolders. And with the smolders building up, man, you, just, you can just start to see the damage scaling um, and just ramping up a ton. Um, so he is 25% down, and um, here I'm trying to bait out his special two, and it's just like, okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna block all that, build up the smolder, okay, and I'm gonna go keep keep going. And shortly here, I can't remember how far in, um, he again, um, doesn't want to throw any specials and I get cornered and basically don't deal with it all that well. Um, so I'm gonna let that play out and then let's see at the end.
All right, so things are going pretty well. Um, get blocking those L1s where, where I can to build up the smolders. I'm almost got 60. I mean, you can start to see the um, the incendiary damage is just going going up and up and up. So things are going well, and I got 76 charges left. He evaded the end of that L2, threw me off, got into the corner, and then I tried to dex the last part of that L1. I should have blocked it like it had been, and I died. So it's unfortunate, but you know, worse things can happen. So revive him. Put a few health pots into him. Don't have the pre-fight. So basically, um, I need to get to 20 smolder, sorry, 20 temperature, and have seven incinerates on him to get um, Nova Flame active or activate it through the L3. Um, and with, you know, under 40% health left on him, um, I figure, you know, being able to activate Nova Flame um, manually through temperature or through an L3 is like, I, I can do this. So, um, you know, the, the damage on the incinerates right now aren't all that high because, um, you know, I have to rebuild up the smolders, but, you know, it's pretty, pretty simple um, strategy, very medium light medium. Um, build the L2, throw the L2, um, yeah, and just try to try to stack the incinerates as, as quickly and as much as possible, and, and then hope that he throws his specials, you know, it's just like every once in a while he just gets stingy, We're like here, it's like, come on, are you going to throw the dang thing, or am I going to get L3'd and just KO'd, finally he throws it a block as much as I can, um, because one, you can't dex it. Um, so ideally, parry, parry every projectile, every part of the special that you can um, to build up smolder, which will basically increase your damage. Um, so anyways, here we're gonna finish this out, even though I blocked all that on the L2. Um, took quite a bit of damage. Um, and here, pushing him to L2 again. I threw a little uh, whip heavy in the middle of his stun on the L2 so um, I could build up some temperature and kind of keep it up. Um, and here he's just being super stingy again. I'm just like, am I going to die? And there he throws it. Um, block all that. Didn't take nearly as much damage as that first one that I blocked. Um, so here we got 44 um, smolders on. Um, the damage is really coming through now. I'm hitting Assassin's range, which is going to help even more. And boom, you can look at that. Look at this damage now. He's just ticking away. Um, and yeah, it's the damage is good. As long as he keeps throwing his specials where I can keep attacking him, this fight's going to be over. Um, so pretty simple. I definitely recommend taking off decks and just keeping it in mind block 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 parry 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 where whenever you can do that and um, your damage is going to ramp up pretty well and throw an l3 to finish them off here so thanks for stopping by and taking a look um, let me know um, who you used um, somebody else maybe void or whatnot and um, if you went about it through a different strategy let me know but thanks again for stopping by and see you in the next one peace